So I found the easiest method to deploy anything on AWS. There's no manual server configuration. The entire infrastructure is defined in a CloudFormation template that can be deployed with a single click. So I'll walk you through step by step in this video and provide all the scripts and commands that you need. We'll use a Superbase uh, database and HTTPS with Let's Encrypt. So here we have NADN on EZ2 with Nginx as the reverse proxy. And then at the back end, we have uh, PostgreSQL. So this is where all your workflows and credentials will be stored. And uh, so the benefit of this setup is that you can bring down this whole um, NADN instance and even uh, uh, host it somewhere else and still connect to this database and all your work will be intact. That is your workflows and credentials. So here's what we need. So we need a new AWS account. If you want to use the free tier for this, uh, you'll need a new account because services that we use like EC2 are only free for the first 12 months after you sign up. Then you need a Superbase account. Free tier is more than enough for this. And then you need a domain and uh, access to modify your DNS records. So this is the only thing that's going to cost you like $12 a year. But if you already own a domain, you can use a subdomain of it, which is again free. So that's what I'm going to do. So let's first create a Superbase account. If you don't already have one, you can use your github login or you can use email and password to sign up i already have a superbase account so i'll log into that so here's my account and i'll create a new project in here i'll use generate password and copy that and then I'll keep this as it is and create a new project. Your project is created in Superbase. Now you need to get the connection details. So this direct connection does not support IPv4. Therefore, we're going to use the session folder and click on view parameters and it will expand this section. And we need all these details. Copy that somewhere. And now let's head on to AWS. So in AWS, you need to sign into the console or create a new account, create a free account. I have already logged into my AWS account. So now what you want to do is go to EC2 and scroll down to network and security and go to key pairs. Create a new key pair. And you have to give a name. And select dot PEM. And click on the create key pair button here. So once you click uh, here, it will automatically download the PEM file for you. And you're going to need that file later when we log into the server. So now we have a... Uh, the file downloaded and the key pair created uh, we'll go to the next step which is to launch the NADN infrastructure using the CloudFormation template so now we need to search for CloudFormation and here it is and click on create stack choose existing template and upload template file and we have to give the template file here. I'll just go through the template file quickly. So here's my CloudFormation YAML file. So here's what it looks like. So we have some parameters which we're going to give uh, the values to in the next screen. And uh, here's the EC2 server setup. And uh, this is the uh environment variables of our NADN. Um, and so these are the parameters that are defined over here for example database host password user and all 
and uh, click on next now we need to give a stack name it could be anything so we need now we need these details that we copied from the superbase connection so host is this one and database password the one we generated and copied the database user is this one and now we need to give a domain name so i already have a registered domain called what and beyond ai uh, what i'm going to do is uh, use a subdomain of that one in n dot so this is my main domain and i'm going to create a subdomain for this um in it and installation and i need to give an email so now we need an encryption key. This key is required to uh, encrypt the credentials that you store in the database. So if you want to retrieve uh, the credentials, maybe in a different, uh, if you install this N8N in instance somewhere else and you need to connect to the same database, you're gonna need this encryption key. So generate this and keep it somewhere safe. I'm going to use git bash uh, to generate the encryption key open ssl rent and x32 so this is my encryption key copy that and um so here we select the ec2 key pair that we created and click on next go next again and here we get the chance to review the parameter values that we entered in the earlier step we can click submit and then it will start creating the instance for us this will take some time So when you see this uh, create complete state here, you can go to outputs and uh, copy this uh, static IP. So we need this to set up the DNS so that we'll be able to uh, access it in, in uh, using this URL. So I have my DNS records in Cloudflare. So I've logged into my account and i'm going to add an a record so select a from here type and this is your subdomain name that uh, you gave in the cloud formation and this is the ip that we copied from here and the subdomain part is this one and we want to turn off proxy for now I'll give this a comment and save. So the next step is to SSH into your um, server. So we'll use this command. And we, so this is the key that we downloaded earlier. So I'll change the name to the file that I downloaded. So now we have a problem, unprotected private key file. So this means this uh, file has more permission than is permitted uh, here. So let's see what it has. So it has two permissions. So this is the current user. Uh, this file should only have read-only permission to the current user. So if you're on Linux, you can do chmod 600 to give read-only permissions. And because I'm on Windows, I will just uh, remove all permissions. And then remove any inherited permissions. 
and uh, finally give a uh, read-only permission to the current user. So now if I check the permission, yeah, it has only this read-only permission for the current user. Now we should be able to place a search into the server. Yeah, perfect. Now we can run certbot to get the SSL certificate. So I'll run this command. So here you have to give your domain name and your email address. Execute that. Yeah, you can do this only after you do the DNS records. Otherwise, it will not run properly. So we will restart Nginx to pick up the changes. Now that we have set up everything, we should be able to access uh, NADN using this link. And you can create an account using your email, name and password. So I'll quickly create an account. Just get started, skip this. Okay, now we can create a workflow, do whatever. Now, if you go back to your uh, Superbase account, you will see all the tables that Initan has created. So I will quickly show you uh, my other account that's running uh, on AWS. So in here, I have uh, four active workflows, like these two are very small workflows. Uh, this one is the, a bit of a complex one. It takes a bit of time to load because it has to connect to uh, Superbase, uh, the external database, but uh, it runs uh, really smoothly. When working, there's no delay, it's just uh, uh, very smooth. But if you want to uh, view execution data, it takes a bit of a time to load the executions. So I think you can comfortably run uh, four to five workflows that are not very, very complex.